To get started, just go to forms.new in your browser and you'll see a blank form. Give it a title. I'm going to make a simple feedback form today. And then click to make your first question. I'm going to ask for people's name. And I have to choose the question type on the right here. So I'm going to choose short answer. Now let's make this required so people can't submit the form if they don't fill out this question. And click on the plus on the right hand side to add another question. Now this time when I wrote the question, Google Forms automatically changed the question type for me. And so all I need to do is put in some labels for this scale question, making it required again. And let's add one more, this time just for any other comments. And you see Google Forms automatically makes this a paragraph type question. Now to change how the form looks, I can edit the theme by clicking the palette icon at the top. You can change the fonts here. I'm going to leave them as they are and just click on choose an image instead. There are loads to choose from here and I'm going to choose the jelly beans this time and insert that image. Once I've done that, I can then change both the accent color and the background colors. And if I want to see what this looks like now, I click on the icon that looks like an eye at the top of the screen. And this is what people will see when they go to fill out the form. So I'm going to fill it out quickly here now and click submit. And if I go back to my form, before I look at the responses, I realized that I would actually like to collect people's email addresses. So I'm going to click on settings at the top of the screen here, go to the responses section, toggle the switch for collecting email addresses. And I'm also going to toggle this other switch that limits people to one response. Now they do need to be signed into a Google account to use that though. All right, with that done, let's go and look at what the responses look like. You get this nice kind of analytics page here with charts and all of the individual responses. And what I recommend doing is clicking link to sheets here. And that's going to create a spreadsheet where all of the different responses from the form are gathered up. And every time someone submits the form, it's going to automatically add a new row to that spreadsheet. So once you're happy and everything's working okay, just go back to your form. The only thing left to do is to send it out to people that you want to complete it. So on the top right of the screen, click the send button. And you can either put in individual email addresses here and leave a message. Or you can just grab a link. You can even shorten it to make it a bit easier, though it's still pretty crazy. And copy that link and then put it in your own email or a text message, for example. And that's it, creating a form in about two and a half minutes.